Hey there guys, it's Ray Kutzer here with Ergen Webb where we tell you the facts not fluff and today we're taking a look at the brand new Avenger from Air Venturi. So before we get started, definitely got to say thank you to Pyramid Air for sponsoring Ergen Webb in these videos. Guys, when you're looking for your next air gun, maybe it's the Avenger, maybe you need a new scope, some pellets, whatever you're looking for, air gun related, please do so at www.pyramidair.com and also please make sure to let them know that Rick sent you their way. So the Avenger, we saw this at SHOT Show 2020. What is it? Well, it's actually pretty stinking cool, okay? So the first thing I gotta talk about are the things I don't like about it. And the reason I'm gonna do that now is because there are a few things that I'm just not crazy about. However, there's so much other good stuff about this gun. It far outweighs the things I don't like. Just. I want to say that right up front. So, first things first, it's kind of plasticky. There's just uh, no way to get around saying that it it's kind of plasticky. Um, it uh, that's uh, fit and finish on it. It feels kind of toyish. It just does. Air Ventura, I'd love to say it's the most awesome, but I just got to be honest with you guys. The uh, the stock is kind of feels like a toy. And then that's pretty much it. That's all I got that's negative about this gun because the rest of this stuff, it may just blow your mind. So here's what you got going on here. In these days, you want, or I should say, in these days, people want high adjustability, you know, tons of power. They want to customize it for everything, you know, six ways till Sunday. And to do that, generally, you got to get into a pretty expensive air gun. You just got to spend a lot of money. Well, this completely blows that out of the water. So starting price as it is right now is right around $300. So just kind of let that simmer for a minute, $300. And now let's talk about what you're getting for that 300 bucks. First things first, you notice you got a gauge here. You got a gauge there too. The reason is, is this has an integrated regulator. Not only is it integrated, but it's fully adjustable. So when I flip this over here, and I pull this little tab, you got a screw in there, you can actually adjust this reg up to pushing 3000 PSI. So it's not just a little bit adjustable, it's wildly adjustable. Now you do need to bleed it before you can adjust the reg, so be sure to do that. Don't just go turning screws without letting all the air out because you don't want to damage your gun. Okay, put that back. So it is, again, highly adjustable. Also, when you change things, sometimes you may need to adjust the hammer spring and right there, there's a hole to do that. So everything about sort of tuning this gun to do what you want it to do is all externally adjustable. You don't have to take it apart. That's awesome. Now, what's neat about the fact that you got the two gauges here. So over here, I've got my regulator pressure. Now this came to me pretty much maxed out. So it's just shy of 3000 PSI on the reg as far as what it's pushing. And you can fill this to 300 bars. So you can put up to like 4,300 PSI into this. So even though you may turn the reg all the way up, you're still gonna get about three mags worth of shots. This is 25 cal, eight shots per mag, that's 24 shots. Now, you want more shots? Well, you just turn the reg down a little bit. You're not gonna use as much air. That's very cool. And I gotta tell you, this thing turned up to max really impressed me and let me just say let me just tell you what we're getting so i shot over my caldwell chronograph got my numbers here um paper says it's supposed to top out at 900 feet per second well my average velocity was 986 feet per second with an extreme spread of 15 and a standard deviation of 4.52 feet per second so not only did it do better than it's supposed to do on paper it did way better than I expected it to do. And again, this is a very affordable gun and we're talking an extreme spread of 15. That's across two mags. That is extremely impressive. So let's take a look at this now. We got amazing power. Again, power, that's 55 foot pounds. 25 cal, 22 and 177. It's available in all those calibers. You can tune this to do whatever you wanna do. You wanna plink in the backyard? You can turn it way down. You wanna go hunting? you can turn it way up. I would take this coyote hunting in a heartbeat if I'm pushing 55 foot pounds. Now, there's only one way I would do that, and that's if the accuracy actually matched the performance 
and it just blew me away there as well. So over here we have some shot groups. Now I shot the 25 fours and I shot the Mark IIs, which are 33.95. Those are pretty heavy. And as you can see, these are all 50 yard groups, guys. I mean, that's the first group. There's my second group. These are the 25 fours. Now when I shot the, the, the heavier pellets, I took my first ranging shot, my first shot landed there, and then I just used the mill dots in my scope to sort of get me where I wanted to be. And as you can see, the thing just performs exceptionally well. Guys, that's it. If you're looking for a highly adaptable, awesome air gun at a very low price point, kind of got to get over the plastic stock, but you get past that, you got a great air gun here. So that's it for now. This is the Air Venturi Avenger. Look it up at pyramidair.com. My name's Rick. Thanks for watching.